$312,700. That's how much the Guam Visitors Bureau is currently shelling out for those Village Meadow sign displays that have been popping up all over the island since last year. GVB well, Vice President things. Jerry Paris says Not it's part of a project to boost tourism through instant marketing. You'd be surprised how many tourists stand in front of these signs, have their picture taken because they're in this village. Or in that village. From north to south, there is a total of 13 signs so far to include Jigo, Ipau Beach, and most recently at Ipan Talafofo. Many of you commenting under our story on Jeff's Pirates Cove's new look questioning this use of government funds. One comment saying, quote, so my tax money went to a private business to promote their business. Another saying, quote, would have been much better to invest in natural beauty and maybe keeping parks and public restrooms clean. Is there uh, a lot of work to do? Of course there is. I, don't, I can't speak to this bathroom or that bathroom, but in terms of priority, I think we're spending the money exactly where it ought to be spent, improve product and improve the destination experience. Paris clarifies the funding source for this project is the Tourist Attraction Fund separate from the general fund. The Tourist Attraction Fund actually is money that uh, tourists uh, contribute to. We have uh, on the island an 11% hotel occupancy tax. That means every tourist that comes to Guam pays 11% uh, hotel tax. And I just wanted to um, clarify um, on that fund. So just to clarify, it's not coming from local taxpayers then? Yeah. It's no. a hotel. Hotel no. tax. Hotels. Yeah. When asked if this is the best use of the funds, Absolutely, because it reinforces our ability to make the destination of Guam the product and not just to Bay. He says the Village Science Project has two main objectives, to encourage visitors to explore beyond Tumon Bay and to instill village pride. I mean, people in Agat, I mean, they drive by, they live in Agat and they see their signs there, Hagat, man, they take pride in that. And guess what? They support tourism because they can see firsthand what it's doing to their village. They're seeing firsthand that they are a part of the industry. The total estimated budget for the project is $400,000. The request for proposal was awarded to Glimpses of Guam Incorporation. The contract ends this September with the option of being renewed annually for up to two additional fiscal years. GVB intends to ultimately have signs stood up in every village. Mitsuki Hariyama, KUAM News.